Leroy Neiman has been recognized as one of the most successful sports artists of all time, and according to many, he is probably the most popular painter and printmaker in America. He is one of the few artists of the 20th century who has become a household name in millions of American homes. However, Neiman did not become a world-renowned artist overnight. Having been born into a blue-collar family from St. Paul, Minnesota, Neiman was forced early on to become a street kid. Neiman's artistic qualities began to come about when he attended Roman Catholic primary school. Art began as a hobby of his when he drew pictures and inscribed pen and ink tattoos on his classmates' arms during recess periods. To this day, Neiman believes that his celebrity began when he was young merely because he loved to draw and paint and did everything in his own path. In 1942, Neiman quit school and enlisted in the United States Army. While serving as a cook for four years in the Army, Neiman started to realize his artistic ability when he painted a number of eye-catching yet sexually suggestive murals on the walls of kitchens and dining halls. After his stint in the Army, Neiman returned to St. Paul and finished his high school degree. After high school, Neiman's artistic studies included stops at the School of Art Institute of Chicago, the University of Chicago, and the University of Illinois. Along with his schooling, Neiman has also cited as especially influential in his artistic development the works of Leonardo da Vinci and Jackson Pollock for his abstract expressionism. Once Neiman discovered his style and had a grasp on what he wanted to accomplish in the world of art, there was no looking back. Fresh out of the Art Institute of Chicago during the early 1950s, Neiman took a job doing women's fashion drawings at the department store Carson Prairie Scott in Chicago. While freelancing there, he befriended a young Hugh Hefner who was working as an advertising copywriter and a cartoonist as well. It was in December of 1953 when Hefner began publishing the magazine Playboy, and through a chance meeting, Neiman showed Hefner some of his paintings. Upon Hefner's invitation, Neiman was then asked to contribute to Playboy magazine. In 1958, Neiman began producing sketchings and paintings for a Playboy feature called Man at His Leisure, for which he also wrote the text. Whether it was the Grand Prix auto race in Monaco, the regatta of the gondoliers in Venice, or the Super Bowl in Miami, Neiman was there. Always found with a long cigar, Neiman painted scenes of gambling and men and women sipping brandy in their leisurely activities. Neiman not only painted the dream life, he began living it as well. Neiman was coming into the world spotlight and was about to make the most of it. He came to Manhattan in 1963, and it was in the years of Namath, Mantle, and Ali that Mr. Neiman became associated with big-time sports. Neiman had a front-row seat for the transition in sport where athletes went from being merely just contestants to celebrities. Among hundreds of other famous people, Neiman has painted sports figures like legendary basketball player Michael Jordan, as well as iconic baseball figures Sandy Koufax, Roger Clemens, and Mike Schmidt. By the 1970s, sports had helped propel him onto television when he began painting on camera for ABC. Television cameras regularly cut to Neiman dabbing away his brilliant oils during the Munich Olympics of 72, the Montreal Olympics in 76, and also in Lake Placid for the Winter Olympics in 1980. Now that we have a good background in sports painting, let's start our own. First we'll start with tools and supplies. These are just a few things that you're going to need to start your own painting. The first thing we're going to need to pick up is wood. I prefer to use a 1 inch by 2 inch cut as to keep the painting light. Second, you'll need to pick up some nails, no longer than 2 inches. We'll also need a hammer with those nails, a tape measure, a ruler or level, and also a saw. All of these materials can be picked up at your local hardware store. Home Depot, Lowe's, or Menards works best. 